guys, welcome back to Farm Girl Diaries. My name is Caitlin, and today we're doing something that I never saw a reason to do, and I decided we're gonna do it. So we're gonna talk about why, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So when I first started Canon, I've been Canon for about four years now, four or five years, I, I, I forget. But when I first started Canon, everyone that I watched on YouTube, because I didn't have anyone in my life to help me with Canon, so I learned on YouTube. Everyone said for the first go around to can water. And I remember sitting there thinking like, why on earth? But that, why would I put a can of water? It's a waste of time, it's a waste of jars, it's a waste of materials, like, and it's, why? <laughs> why? Um, today we're canning water. And a couple of reasons for that. So, just, I guess, as a general announcement, um, I will never make this channel a politics. I will never discuss politics, either on the channel or on my Instagram. Um, politics is incredibly divisive and I don't, first of all, I don't want to have arguments or, or push people away or, or anything of like that due to politics on my channel. Um, however, I'm not talking about politics, <laughs> um, but I think part of the reason that we are homesteaders is due to what's going on in the world today. Um, so it's either, you, you know, you, you want to homestead because you want that simple way of life because the current world with social media and with the, with the news media and with just everything going on in the world is too much. I totally get that. That's also why I'm homesteaded and I'm really going back to a simpler life. And I'll be honest, I actually went away um, a couple weeks ago, I went on a trip, a work trip, and it was fun. We, we did stuff every single day. It, it was, it was, I had a good time. But I was so ready to come home because I wanted my simple life. And this life that I've created, as simple as it is, and I, and I have, I've really taken steps to simplify my life. Um, I don't have, aside from my Farm Girl Diaries Instagram and this channel, I don't have social media. So I don't have like all the drama of social media anymore. Um, I don't watch the news too much. I try to just get headlines here and there. But so as homesteaders, we have decided to take on self-sufficiency for whatever reason is motivating you. Um, and for me, I keep getting validation for why I'm a homesteader, why I decided to live this simple life, why I decided to grow my own food, get into herbal medicine, why I decided to do all the things that I want to do. And I have been met along the way with, you know, people making fun of me or like joking or like, oh, Caitlin, you're such a prepper. I've definitely got my fair share of, of that of the rasin, um, as I would say. But I keep seeing signs for why the prepping is needed. And you can take it from, you know, we had COVID that started three years ago, we're three years after the start of COVID, and we were still dealing with massive supply chain shortage issues, um, both in the store, both the material side, you know, I'm, I'm trying to can cat food for my cats, and I'm struggling to find canned cat food because we don't have tin. Um, there's still, I believe, there's, last time I checked, there is still a new car shortage because we need the chips that come from, I, I think, Taiwan, but they don't have the materials to make the chips. So, like, COVID has just pushed everything back that we're still dealing with these massive supply chain issues. On top of that, we have massive inflation. Um, things are more expensive than I've ever seen them in my lifetime. I'm only 31 years old, so that is not saying a lot. <laughs> But they're, they're more expensive than I've ever had to deal with. And I'm, I've been struggling. I have my own house and I do it on my own. And, and the fact that I, I honestly haven't felt a massive dent um, in my bills because of inflation. Just because I majority of my food comes from my home side. I do produce it. My meat has gone up. My gas has gone up. To heat my house has gone up like all those things have gone up but the things that i consume on a daily basis i consume so little from the store i'm able to do so much of it on my own that i'm not as i'm impacted but i'm not as impacted as maybe somebody else is that doesn't grow their own food or doesn't make a lot of their food from scratch so you have all of those issues and now last week we had the train derailment in ohio and there's dangerous chemicals that are in the air in the ground that are everywhere um, we're shooting UFOs out of the sky right now. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> All of these are different reasons why I have prepped items. You have things like 
natural disasters, you have job loss, you have layoffs, like there's so many different things that can happen that can make it so that you don't have money, you can't leave your house, um, you are incapable of, of leaving your house, whether due to an injury, a sickness, anything like that. So there are all of these reasons. And so, like I said, it, the past three years is when I really hunker down and I've, I think it's actually probably been four years. I was a little, little prepper before COVID, but then I kind of really took it full force when COVID hit. But every, the past three, four years, I keep getting validation for why I do what I do. This Ohio thing is the latest one. Again, it's, I can't prep for everything. If, if it, chemicals go up in my area, I can't, you can't do anything about that. Um, but when it comes to not leaving your house, having food, having water, having the things that you need, basically my, my goal is that if I need it, I can conquer down in this house and I don't have to leave for a long period of time, take my electric, take my gas, take my energy, take all of that stuff. Um, and I have what I need here to survive for a period of time. Um, now, could I go a very long time? No. Could I last for a little bit? Yes. <laughs> So we're doing something today that I never thought I would do. And, but at this point I'm anxious and I need to do it. So we're going to be canning water. So look at the last, let's say just five years, five years of time and look at everything that's happened across the country. We've had a couple different hurricanes down South. You had Texas where they had the deep freeze and that caused massive issues. You had this Arctic blast up in Buffalo. This is probably just all this is what I just said. It's probably the last year and a half or year, really. Um, yeah, let's do a year because Texas was 2022. We had the hurricane in Florida. We had two back to back this year, 2022. Buffalo this year was, I think that was in either December or January. Um, I forget when that was, but that was at deep freeze. Um, and that's just three within the last year that have affected vast amount of people and these are just natural disasters now when you want to talk you want to tack on we had the ohio train derailment um you have down uh, i know down south last summer we had massive down southwest we had massive droughts um so just thinking about all the things that can happen i have decided that i need my house to sustain me i don't need to rely on the outside world i want my house to sustain me. So I've talked about it a couple of times. I, I act like my house is a living, breathing being. It is a being within my family because this house, I keep, I, I say it, this house is stocked. The house is ready to go. And at any point I can close my doors and my house is ready to fight this battle with me. So I started buying water jugs from the grocery store, just one, two gallons at a time. I have, I think a total of eight. So I really haven't gotten that far. Um, and I just put them down in the basement because I wanted to just have water. I have animals that rely on water. So if something happens, my water gets contaminated. That has happened across the country where there's been a spill and the water is contaminated. You can't drink it or you have to boil it before you drink it or anything like that. Um, I have animals that need the water. And I can't just, like for me, I could have soda or I could drink beer. I could, I could drink something else to quench the thirst, but my animals came. My animals need water. Um, so I, I want to have water put back for an emergency. And I will say I've never in my life needed water. I've never in my life been without any of the things that I'm prepping. So some, pe some people do make fun of me and they say like, why are you prepping water when you've never not had access to water? And you've never not had access to food. Why are you putting food back? If that situation would come up, if that situation would arise, I don't want to be up poop creek for all that matter. Um, I don't want to be up the creek without the paddle. I want to ride whatever has happened. I want to be able to ride it out. Um, so I started buying these water bottles and the water bottles honestly have like a one year lifespan. I'm going to push mine to two because in, emer in emergency situations, it'll be fine. But after about one year, the plastic water bottles start breaking down. Um, so that is completely pointless to me. I don't drink the water from these water bottles. I am buying them strictly for 
my emergency water needs. Uh, and then if you think about it, you need water for just drinking alone. So for me, the animal is drinking water, but you also need water if you wanna wash dishes. Um, you know, if we lose water for whatever reason, I don't have paper plates in this house, I have my plates, and I need some way to wash them to clean them between meals. Um, I'm assuming the apocalypse, I am still eating very well. <laughs> So I need to have something to wash all my dishes. Um, you want to have something to brush your teeth with. Um, maybe like to give yourself like a little like sponge bath um, if you start stinking. Um, so I'm going to keep the water bottles um, longer than their intended use is if it's just for that reason. Um, I'm going to keep them for two years and at two years if I need them for drinking water I can use them at that point. After two years they're going to turn into dishwasher or uh, sink water or shower bath water um but canned water lasts indefinitely and um so we're gonna do a couple of different things with canned water we're gonna can it in i'm gonna go downstairs right now we're gonna see how many quart jars we have and i'm gonna can all my quart jars that i have i'm gonna fill them up with water and then i'm just gonna start a stack of these canned quart jars again i never thought i would do this um, I, I don't, I, I don't necessarily think I'm ever going to need them, but I'd rather have them in, in, in case I need them. I have them in case I don't need them one day. I just empty them out and I pour them out and I use the cans for something else. Um, I don't think it's unwise, um, especially with everything going on in the world. God only knows what is going to happen. I think everyone can agree no matter where you stand that no one knows anything that's going on. <laughs> in the world so i don't think it's a bad idea to just plan ahead for the unknown and for me i have stress and anxiety not about what's going on in the world but how m me and my family handle it my mom my mom is stressing and she's panicking and I, all i keep telling her is just have your house stocked no matter what happens in this world if something happens if something doesn't happen just have your house stocked and ready to go at all times that so you can shut those doors um and be fine i look at covid we thought covid was going to be we're going to lock down for two weeks and life's going to go back to normal and it took two years nobody saw that coming so i think this is a wise idea to do um i'm finally at the point that i see i see the reason behind it so i am going to go see what jars i have downstairs i'm going to can them today but then I'm also going to buy, I think like once a week, I'm going to buy a case of quartz. They're like $14 now. They're more expensive, which is annoying. But I'm going to start buying these jars and again, just start a stack of water. Each quart is four cups uh, and they say you need about a gallon of water per person per day. So that's a lot of water <laughs> to put back. Um, and so on, in addition to that, I also have um, a life straw and I have a gravity filled water or a gravity bag water purifier. So I have those two um, to use when my water resources would run out if we get to that situation. Um, am I a prepper? At this point, I will fully acknowledge that I am. But it gives me a sense of peace knowing that this is one more thing I can check off my list that if something like this happens, if my water gets contaminated, I have a plan. Um, so this is, this is my plan. So when I'm doing this, something else to keep in mind too. So I am going to, this is a, a jar you take downstairs, but I'm going to be reusing all my lids, even jars that I buy brand new that come with the lids. I'm going to take the brand new ones off, put them away. All we're doing is canning water. So I'm going to use my used lids, lids that I've already been canned with. I'm 100% going to use those first. We'll use all of them. Um, because if the, if the jar fails, it's just water. I'm not losing food. I'm not losing anything. So if the lid doesn't seal or it pops a seal later, I'm not losing food. So I'm okay with that. I'd rather not waste the good lids. Also, because it's just water, this is not an example, but I don't buy a lot of canned food. My parents buy canned food and give it to me, but I don't even have a lid. But if you have a jar that has like a pop top lid on it, um, that is a jar you can recan in. So I see those for emergency situations, such as when we had that um, 
episode happened, when we had COVID happen and there was that lid shortage and we couldn't find lids, a lot of people reused their lids and they started canning in emergency situations. You can can with those pop top lids that come like on these jars. And um, so if you have a whole bunch of those, you can save those and can water in that as well. Again, we're not canning food, so botulism isn't a concern. We're just canning water and canned water can last indefinitely as long as that seal hasn't broken. Um, and again, if the seal breaks, if the pop top lid fails at some point, you're not losing anything. So it's just a way that we're gonna do this to save money and um, save money, <laughs> basically. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see how many jars I have and then we're gonna get to canning. Now it's time to can our water. I have a big pot of water here that I have boiled for actually about 15 minutes. The directions say bring it to a boil and then you only need to boil it for five minutes. But I was eating supper, so I just thought it won't hurt to go a little bit longer. So I pipe in hot water, I'm boiling water, and I'm putting it into, they were warm, but by the time I've gotten to this, they're a little cooled off, but you ideally want warmer jars just so you don't have thermal shock with your jars. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So we're just gonna fill our quart size jars up with water. I might need to actually do more water. I thought this big pot would be enough. Yes, we'll see. I'm doing quarts, but you can do, you could do pints, you could do smaller things. And I did see you can do half gallons. Um, but half gallons are so expensive. Um, and I do have quite a few half gallons downstairs, but for now we're just gonna do quarts. I really like using the half gallons for like the pantry for storage. So what I think I'm gonna get in the habit of doing with this is I'm gonna do, just to kind of get me started, make sure I have water, I'm going to do a couple of these right off the bat, a couple of, oops, that one, oh, you were filled a couple of cases. It said a flat of quartz is three gallons. So that's just a way to measure how much you have. Um, but I'm going to just get a whole bunch of water, can up and ready to go. But then what it said a lot of people do is when they fill up their canner, if they have any space left in their canner, They'll grab whatever empty jar they have and they'll just throw a jar of water in with whatever they already have going. So you kind of use up all your canner space. And this, I'm going to pressure can because I think pressure can is easier. I don't have to bring, like it took a while to bring this big pot of water up to boil and that releases a lot of heat into my house. Normally, if it was winter time, I'd be okay with that, but it's actually a really nice day today. It was um, closer to 60 today, so I don't actually need the extra heat in my house today. But this is something 100% when it's cold outside. I like, I like doing, I like cooking when it's cold outside because I can turn the oven on, I heat up my house. And that's not the only time I'm actually warm in my house in the winter is when I'm cooking and I have the stove going. So I'm gonna pressure can it because I think it's easier. I'm only boiling three quarts of water as opposed to a whole big pot of water. And I think it'll go faster. And with pressure cannon, you only need a pressure can it for at five pounds, depending on your elevation. Again, check for your own specific elevation. I'm below a thousand feet. So it said to pressure can it at five pounds of pressure for about eight minutes. So I'm just gonna round up to 10 pounds of pressure for 10 minutes um, and then oh, guess what that metal gets hot <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have plenty of water um and you don't want to add anything to this water no sugar no electrolytes nothing like that just keep it as plain water um and you can have it go longer so you know that it's safe um, I, I'm pretty sure that what I, the directions I saw said if it's if you don't add anything to it, it's not going to grow botulism, but it still can grow. It was botulism without the S. Botch. Bot. You, I forget. It can still go bad if you don't do it correctly. So if you're just a little scared, you could always go um, higher pressure, like let's do 10 pounds of pressure for 10 minutes, and then you'll be more than okay. Okay. I got... 
everything's filled up. I need to empty one of these. One of these is a little too full. And I'm just leaving an inch of headspace. And then like I said, I'm going to use my jars I've already canned with. Again, if it fails, it's just water. get him going for um i'm gonna get the camera going and then we're gonna can it for five minutes or eight minutes at five pounds of pressure editing caitlin here i forgot to end this video and show what the canned water came out of the canner looking like so i did seven jars so far and i need to do i need to fill out this box i still have like five more i think to do um but my used lids sealed great i didn't have any that didn't seal so these are just going to go down in the basement and going to be stored in case I ever need them. Hopefully I never need them, but if I do, I know that I'm covered. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.